I bought this package from Macari. It was um, about $9. It's one Ken doll. I have been looking for this face mold for a while. And recently they have reissued it. So I was able to find it. It is a, a fashionista doll now. And also a soccer doll. This is the soccer version of the doll. Thank you for my purchase. Um, shipping was only like uh, three something, which 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 is the lowest you can do, and the doll wasn't very expensive either. This um Ken was for this mo face mold was first seen on Ken, blonde, blue eyes, light skin, but a broad body. And quickly, China copied this doll. It is a nice face mold. However, right before getting this doll, which was fully dressed, I bought another one. <laughs> Couldn't find this face mold forever, and now it's everywhere. I had already bought this on eBay. And it was ten dollars, uh, free shipping, plus tax. So it was maybe a dollar or two more. But this one is naked, and I just could not resist how cheap the clove doll was. So I ended up buying him again. Both the Makari doll and the eBay doll were packaged really well. Then this eBay one had a lot of uh, bubble wrap tape and a Ziploc bag that I did have to cut open because of all the tape. Usually I save those for storage of doll clothes. I just wipe them down with something. They do, I'm not sure, but a on camera, they appear to be a slightly different color. This uh, naked one, the eye was a little wonkily painted, but not on this one. This one seems to be a little better painted. He also appears to be a bit darker, but they are basically the same face mold. This can, of course, originated in a... Um, broad Ken with blonde, light skin, and blue eyes. This one comes in blonde and gray, and now bearded. This imitation doll did come from AliExpress. They do, even though it is the same mold that they use, does appear to be different just because the plastic is softer, the neck line is way different because they did not copy how they do the head because they didn't want to completely copy the body. I mean, they did copy the body, but they made him articulated, um, slightly, um, thinner plastic and, um, well, he has nipples and the tan legitimate Ken does not. I suppose if you repainted the face, it would look a little more like this Ken, um, except the face is just a little bit wider just because of how the neck mold is and the plastic being a little less sturdy. I do like these bodies. This set. Oh, these are the pants I made for... Shoot. <laughs> Dolls Rescued. I meant to show those before. I made the video and then it came out wrong. I re-sewed them and that took a little more time, which is why the video wasn't ready. But there you go. That is how they look. He looks the best. He looks wonky compared to the other ones. And if I was going to do a character, I guess he with the gray hair would be the father. All with the same haircut and they would be twins. But of course, 
And you can tell the the similarities of the bodies. Like, they did copy that body. They just gave him different arms and articulated arms, legs, and um, wrist. Now, I am opening more right now. I have been buying a lot of things from Macari recently. I keep getting, people keep offering me cheaper deals on stuff that I have liked. And most of the time I ignore it because I like it just to see how much it sells for. Because I might have a similar item to sell. But sometimes I really do want the items. And these were super cheap. They were like $8 together just with shipping and these dolls used to be really expensive when you're just buying one doll so buying two was great I did just um get um another one of these in a doll lot before and you know it's this one of them is the exact same doll so I don't have to feel guilty because what I do is I I can't have stolen their eyes and replaced them with cheaper eyes and taken their bodies as well because they're so articulated that they're great for customs. Um, I think they're beautiful dolls. I just do not like the wig situation and that peg. It gets stuck. I have had one where they glued the wig on. It was not a great situation. It still has the peg in that head. And that doll was stained as well, so she was good for a body swap. So I could use her for something else in my custom characters. But I do like these dolls for customization. Um, you can take the eyes. It It's difficult, but it does work. Um, I also got this, um, another uh, set from Makari as well. It was another... It was offered and it was just so inexpensive for the two dolls plus shipping that I couldn't resist. And it had been a doll that I had been looking for for a long time. Oh, wow. They're going to get even more pay-per-views for their packaging. They package them in the fragile thing, in bubble wrap, in this. The dolls look super clean. I think the only thing wrong with him is his eyebrow is chipped. I'm going to take these out. Now, you may have known that I've got a lot of these base molds recently. I do have a lot. I bought one on eBay, and then I got offered a deal on Macari that I couldn't resist because he came with his entire outfit. And then I bought him and this. Um, this doll, again, I could will. If I known that, I wouldn't have bought either of these. I would have saved like 15 or $20. I'm not sure I'd have to look that up. Because he was only 211 like their dolls normally are. He is fully dressed that is an old style pants with zippers so I'm pretty sure that's vintage but I have triplets and their broad older brother so that is amazing um, full comparison video on this and this guy because they are based on the same mold just a little different because they are painted different and the shape of his head is different just because the neck is different so craziness abounds i can't seem to get away from this guy but i think i should buy him an articulated body and then have at least one articulated version of this doll. Um, the head is slightly smaller on the fake. 
it is squishier. There is some paint damage to the original. Of course, the, the body types of the regular and articulated fake are very similar. Um, I do believe the feet are a little bit smaller, but that um, is common with some types of fakes. But other than that, it, it's pretty much the same. Uh, both of these 2016 originals could use a little bit of a painting touch up, the blonde a little more so. You can see that the fake is very uniformed in his mold. Now the hair on the original is very shiny and the the hair and face on the fake is more matte but the body is much shinier than the original Mattel version. Um, I do believe the eyebrows make him look a little wonky on the fake. And the lips are a little bit thinner. But yeah, it, he is still very close. It's just not as detailed because they were using a thinner plastic. Now here is everything I opened today. I thought they were all great finds. That uh, dress I bought in a lot looks perfect on this live doll. It's a perfect fit. There's buttons down the back. You will see that in another opening. I want to thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And have an awesome day.